The Marine Biological Laboratory, also known as the MBL, was started in 1888. So we've been around here for a very long time. It was started here in Woods Hole because it was an ideal location to be able to access a really amazing array of organisms that are here in the marine environment. It started off as just a summer only institution, but was always devoted to both research and education. So from the very outset, it brought together amazing scientists who came here not only to do their own experiments, but also to teach courses. And that tradition of both research and education has been an important guiding principle of the institution. The MBL is situated at the intersection of two different bodies of water and it brings together a diversity of animals and that's attracted researchers asking all sorts of different questions from all over the world to study these animals and try to understand their biology and so it's a really wonderful place to ask exciting new questions in all sorts of different organisms. I think that this place is really magical. It's beautiful here in Woods Hole, and our students get the opportunity to take amazing courses and have just once in a lifetime research opportunities that they wouldn't get to have in a normal school setting. It's very immersive and hands-on, so even if you're not really interested in marine biology, it's still really cool to see how everything works and to get instruction from people who are experts in this field. It's definitely more advanced with the technology we have available here at MBL. We've got much more advanced technology to look at the embryos which we're using to see the genetic changes when we insert and edit the genes of the embryos. They get hands-on experience working with these animals and these approaches, and they can start to understand that science is generated through curiosity and exploration and not just fully coming out of the textbook. They're here with world-class scientists. They're doing things that students who are like in college or in graduate school would be doing. They can see themselves as scientists in sort of a more real-world setting and have confidence that they can implement you know, the techniques and things that they've been using in the classroom in a more academic environment. Probably what we're most famous for are the advanced training courses that occur here in the summer. They're not based on just following some protocols or doing things like that, but they're really challenging courses where we get the students to think up exciting things to try. We give them all the reagents and equipment they need to do that, and we really turn them loose. And we try to do the same thing with the high school courses. The idea is to really give them challenging things to do so that they understand what doing science is really like. It's not what they think of maybe from their textbook readings, but that it's really a lot of fun. But it's fun with a real purpose, to make discoveries, to find things that no one has found before. The experience of sharing these scientific approaches with students has been incredibly joyful for me. The look of wonder when they get to see a fish that is glowing with GFP, or when they realize what the phenotype is that they've created using CRISPR-Cas is really exciting, and it brings a lot of joy to me to watch them as they discover this for themselves. It's definitely a really exciting experience to be here at MBL. We get to see the full experience of how these uh, zebrafish grow from just like an embryo and how they're produced. And then we can see the differences of how they change over time. And it's definitely more of a full experience than what you would get just at school and other programs. Here at MBL, there's a lot more resources, especially for dissections. And I think it's really cool to see how these organisms actually work, whereas at school we kind of just learn about them instead of actually doing some hands-on work. What's really cool is that the things that they're learning about here, even though there are touch points that are similar in our curriculum, are things that they wouldn't have an opportunity to learn about otherwise. So all of the hands-on research that they're doing, their work with the scientists, it's about getting them you know, out of the classroom and able to do things that they wouldn't get to do under normal circumstances. This will be, I believe, my 24th summer here teaching at the MBL, and I just absolutely love it. Both the faculty and the students just have a transformative experience while they're here. This kind of opportunity is what got me very, very excited about science when I was a high school student. And so I think that is something that had a lasting effect on me, and I think that it's really important that we give that opportunity to as many young people as we can so they really understand the challenges of science, the joy of science.